It's well known that pancreatic cancer has the highest mortality rate of all cancers, making a diagnosis a virtual death sentence. In fact, it's estimated that 94% of pancreatic cancer patients die within five years of diagnosis, and 74% of patients die within the first year. Given its deadly nature and the fact that it's anticipated to move from number four leading cause of cancer-related deaths in the U.S. to number two by 2020, Finding additional treatment options for advanced pancreatic cancer uh, is critical. Here with more is Judy Kelly here to talk about her personal battle with pancreatic cancer. And also joining her is leading oncology uh, surgeon, Dr. Robert Martin. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Great to have Good morning. you on. Uh, Judy, let's start with you. Talk to us a little bit about your cancer diagnosis. You know, what, what did doctors tell you about your chances of, of survival and treatment options both? Um, I was diagnosed in August of 2010 with stage 3 inoperable cancer. Um, at the time, it was devastating news. Um, it was pretty much a death sentence. Um, the doctors had given me probably six to nine months. Uh, they gave me the option of uh, chemotherapy or radiation therapy. So what was, what was the outcome of that? I mean, you, you pretty much, you know, have a positive end to this story now, right? Right. Um, I went ahead with the chemotherapy, then radiation plus chemo and more chemo. My family members searched the internet and found the IRE procedure, and it was being done in, by a doctor in Arkansas, but he was only doing it on liver. So that doctor referred my sister to Dr. Martin, and that's how we found the IRE procedure. Dr. Martin, I understand there's a new study out. Uh, what were the results of this study, and what do they mean for patients like Judy or, or patients, uh, any patients of pancreatic cancer who, who do right. have so few So this options. study, which we just presented last Thursday in San Diego, mm -hmm. demonstrates that patients with uh, stage 3 pancreatic cancer or the rare stage 4 patients such that, that respond to chemotherapy can have a doubling in their overall survival with the use of IRE or the trade name NanoKnife in conjunction with chemotherapy and chemoradiation therapy. Who is eligible for this type of procedure? The main people that we're looking at is the people who we think have the, the greatest unmet need, and that's the 17,000 patients who are diagnosed with stage 3 pancreatic cancer each year. Those patients really, unfortunately, now, a lot of them have very little hope. There's a lot of pessimism and a lot of nihilism in the oncology community around those patients. And what we've been able to demonstrate is that in combination with standard therapy, we've been actually able to augment that responsiveness to the standard therapy and actually give patients significant quality of life years beyond that. What our study demonstrated is that we were able to demonstrate a median survival of improvement out to 24 months. Now, Stephanie, you may say, wow, that's really not a lot of time. But if you take it in context to what current best case chemo and chemo radiation therapy that's been reported, that still hovers at about 12 to 13 months. The other thing to remember is that nearly 50 percent of those patients are obviously living longer because that's just the median. So there's now a number of patients who have actually gotten significant quality of life years even beyond 24 months with the use of IRE or the nano knife system. Judy, now how long has it been since, uh, since your surgery? In August, it'll be four years, and then five years from diagnosis. Wow. Uh, do you have any advice that you would give maybe other patients in your position, somebody else that's uh, My going first advice this? would be to contact Dr. Martin, <laughs> see if they're el eligible for the IRE proce procedure. Um, next would be just to be positive, keep searching, get second, third, fourth opinions. Um, uh, hopefully you have an advocate that can search for you and do a lot of praying. Support is important. Uh, Dr. Martin, why is the rate of pancreatic cancer increasing? You know, why is it so deadly when you compare it to other cancers? Right, I think it's uh, the main reason why is that we're seeing an increased incidence just because of the widespread or ubiquitous use of CT scans when patients are presenting with atypical abdominal pain. That's the ultimate challenge, though, with pancreatic cancer. There's really no any, there are no early warning signs. Small percentage may develop diabetes later in life, but really there are no signs that tell us that they have a potential pancreatic cancer that's starting. Um, so it's because of that that almost 70% of all patients who are diagnosed are diagnosed in that late stage, either stage three or stage four. What again we're hopeful with is that this subset, that 17,000, can actually get significant benefit from that. And so we're hopeful that this message will obviously, as again, 
force the oncology community to unlearn that type of pessimism and nihilism, but most importantly, empower the patient to continue to ask why. What else can I do? What other treatments are available? Um, because we really do believe that will improve significantly the quality of life years that these patients can obtain. Well, thank you both so much. Uh, Judy, uh, thank you especially for sharing your story and, and Dr. Martin for sharing these resources. Judy, how do you feel today? Oh, I'm wonderful. I'm happy to be alive. I feel like I've been given a miracle and I'm just enjoying life. Amazing. So great to hear. Uh, any place online where we can go to learn more about your story or maybe find the resources that you talked about, Dr. Martin? The main place that I would go would be the University of Louisville Division of Surgical Oncology website. We have a patient portal and a physician portal specifically also to educate and teach people. And then also utilizing the search terms, IRE and pancreatic cancer, do bring up some good, um, obviously, uh, educational pieces as well as to identify other IRE or nano knife uh, centers of excellence across the United States. Thank you both so much. It's so great having you on the show this morning. Okay, thank thank you. you. For more on this segment, all you got to do is log online to fox4morningblend.com. Release your inner swan up next. How swan centers can help you look and feel your best this summer.